Good morning. Today I want to explain in five minutes what bundle adjustment is about. So bundle adjustment is a state estimation technique that is used to estimate the three location of points in the environment and those points have been estimated from camera images. And we do not only want to estimate the location of those points in the world, we also want to estimate where the camera was when taking the images and where it was looking to. So every point typically has um, three coordinates, an x, y, and that coordinate in some coordinate frame. And the camera um, can be described by six parameters. And what we want to do is we want to estimate the location of the cameras and the points jointly so that the error of where the points are actually projected to is minimized. So what kind of error are we looking into? We are looking into the so-called reprojection error. That means we assume we know the location of the camera and the location of uh, the points in the environment and then we are projecting the points into a camera image. And this gives us a pixel coordinate of that point. So where would that point be projected to if my estimates would be correct? And then we compare this location to the actual location where we observe this point in our image. And what we're trying to do, we're trying to minimize this discrepancy. And we minimize this over all um, combinations of observations of feature points, um, treating them typically as independent of each other. So this leads to a large least squares problem that we need to solve. And this technique, which has been developed in photogrammetry in the 1950s um, and has been um, used to solve a large number of problems, then has later been uh, kind of redeveloped in the computer vision community and later on in robotics, as it is very similar, for example, to the visual slam problem. Um, the bundle adjustment approach is a, a statistically optimal solution, um, making some assumptions such as Gaussian noise and the dependencies, how the mapping of the features um, into your camera images actually happen, also assuming known data association. There are several assumptions which are um, not necessarily justified in the real world, such as known data association, so knowing which point I'm actually observing um, at an image location um, knowing to which feature point this corresponds to in the real world. That is something that is often not the case and we need to estimate this data association. But how do we solve this approach, uh, bundle adjustment approach? So we are using um, a least squares approach, which typically leads to very, very large systems. So we need to solve a large system um, of linear equations um, that is so large that typically we can't solve it unless we exploit the structure that underlies this bundle adjustment problem. And the key thing to exploit in here is the sparse nature of the problem. That means not from all camera locations we can observe all features, um, so there's only a small number of features that we're observing in every camera image. And um, so there's only uh, a small number of dependencies, and if we build up our big um, system of linear equations, a lot of those entries in this design matrix will actually be zero. And as a result of this, we can exploit this sparsity and need only to take the non-zero values into account, which allows us to solve the underlying least squares problem in a much more efficient way. If you solve these problems in general, um, so taking uh, structure for motion systems um, that use bundle adjustment to perform the minimization, then uh, finding the data association is typically the computationally most complex problem. So solving this least squares problem can be computationally demanding, um, but it's typically not the limiting factor in most applications. So looking for data associations in your images, in your observation, is still the part of the problem which takes most of the time. And this is also something where you can easily make errors, so if you screw up your data association, then you will not converge to the correct solution. So in practice, you again will need robust state estimation techniques or robust kernels, integrate them into your least squares approach in order to be able to deal um, with a certain number of outliers in your data association. So I hope that was useful and gave you an idea how bundle adjustment works. Thank you very much for your attention.